क्लास एट चैप्टर साउंड मॉड्यूल वन वाइब्रेशंस हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी शेल स्टार्ट चैप्टर साउंड ऑफ क्लास एट्थ इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी शेल डिस्कस व्हाट साउंड इज एंड हाउ इट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रेंड्स व्हेन यू आर इन दी स्कूल हाउ यू गेट टू नो दैट पीरियड इज ओवर ऑब्वियसली विद द साउंड ऑफ अ स्कूल बेल isn't it similarly you come to know easily that someone is at your door when he knocks or rings the bell right but how does this happen let us understand this friends what happens when we ring the school bell or door bell yes absolutely correct a sound is produced isn't it and by hearing that sound we get to know that period is over or someone is standing at our door but what is sound like heat and light sound is also a form of energy what sound is it is also a form of energy and how do we hear sound friends this sound produces a hearing sensation in our ears due to which we can hear it so sound can be defined as sound is a form of energy that produces a sensation of hearing in our ears have you understood good friends you must have heard many sounds in your day to day life like sound of television music system machine and musical instruments right so what are these television music system machine and musical instruments these are sources of sound what are they sources of sound now friends you might have noticed that when we talk and communicate with others a sound is produced isn't it similarly birds insects animals are also capable of producing sound have you understood what sound is good now let us understand how sound is produced friends you might have noticed that when you plug the strings of a guitar strings move back and forth rapidly and a sound is produced and when these strings stop moving back and forth no sound is heard isn't it so this back and forth movement of the strings or any object about its mean position do you know what mean position is mean position is the actual position of an object right so this back and forth movement of an object about its mean position is called vibration what is it called vibration so a sound is produced because of vibrations friends every vibrating object produces sound and when vibrations are stopped the sound also stops now let us do an activity to understand it better to do this activity we need a wooden board two iron nails a rubber band and a hammer now how will we do this activity let us understand this first of all fix two iron nails on the wooden board with the help of a hammer and then tie a rubber band between the two ends of the iron nails now plug the rubber band in the middle and then leave it what do you observe you observe that the rubber band vibrates and produces sound now you stop the vibrations of the rubber band by touching it with your hands and check whether the sound is still producing no no sound is produced now so what do we conclude from this activity we conclude that sound is produced by a vibrating object only and no sound is produced when vibrations are stopped so what is our conclusion sound is produced by a vibrating object have you understood good we have just discussed that sound is produced by vibrations right to prove this let us perform one more activity to perform this activity we need a tuning fork do you know what tuning fork is tuning fork is a u shaped single steel piece with a handle and it has 
two arms that are called prongs and as a handle called stem now let us see what else we need to do this activity apart from tuning fork we need a tennis ball an iron stand a rubber pad and a piece of thread now how will we do this activity let's understand this first of all make two small holes in a table tennis ball and pass a thread through it now suspend the table tennis ball with the thread tied to the stand after that take a tuning fork and strike this tuning fork hard against a rubber pad after striking you will observe that tuning fork produces sound now bring one of the prongs of the tuning fork near the table tennis ball what will you observe then you will observe that on touching the prong of the tuning fork the ball starts vibrating to and fro and what does it show it shows that tuning fork is vibrating and due to its vibrations the ball also starts vibrating and what do we conclude from this activity we conclude from this activity that vibrating tuning fork produces sound or we can say sound is produced by a vibrating tuning fork have you understood good friends here we have completed this module now let us revise the main points first sound is a form of energy that produces a sensation of hearing in our ears next we studied television music system machines and musical instruments are sources of sound and then we discussed what a vibration is a vibration is a back and forth movement of an object about its mean position and then we discussed a sound is produced because of vibrations every vibrating object produces sound friends i hope you have understood this module well and you will be able to answer all the questions based on this module easily and correctly now let us do the exercises